The Auto OTDR Test Mode automatically selects settings that give you the best combination of test time, dynamic range, and resolution. It provides the best view of the events on the cabling. This mode is the easiest to use and is the best choice for most applications. Previous test we ran was using the Data Center OTDR setting. We need to tap the Test Setup Navigation panel to change the test setup. Tap Auto OTDR and tap Use Selected. Now simply tap Test, and the tester will determine the best setting to use for the fiber under test. Make sure the port connection quality is good. If it's not good, the tester's ability to properly analyze the fiber may be impaired. The all-new event map feature eliminates the learning curve in reading an OTDR trace. OptiFiber Pro's advanced logic automatically interprets the trace information to create a detailed map that graphically depicts all connectors, splices, and anomalies with easy-to-understand icons. By tapping on any of the color-coded icons, red-green for pass-fail, we can view the event's summary information. We can view any event's details by tapping its summary information bubble. The event's loss measurement and margin details are shown first. Tapping reflectance allows us to view the reflection measurements, and tapping segment attenuation shows the measurement of the fiber segment prior to the event. Tapping the back button takes us back to the event map. Now we'll go back to the trace. Most OTDRs are designed for a myriad of applications, causing the user interface to be difficult to navigate and interpret. OptiFiber Pro combines the latest gesture-based interface technology with a capacitive touchscreen to deliver the most innovative and user-friendly OTDR. The trace itself should look familiar to experienced users, but both novice and experienced users will admire the advancements made in ease of trace manipulation. Tapping the arrow next to events will move the cursor to the next event on the trace. Using a reverse pinch gesture will zoom the trace at the location centered between the two fingers. Dragging a finger across the screen moves the trace in the direction of the finger drag so that events of an interest may be centered. Tapping the yellow bubble on the cursor activates the fine positioning arrows and the mark button. The cursor may be moved by dragging it to the desired location. The mark button sets the marker, and dragging the cursor allows manual measurements to be made with the cursor readout at the bottom of the trace. Double tapping the trace will unzoom the trace. 